Welcome back to B Spice. In this session, we'll discuss about mastering instrument installation. Part two, wherein we'll focus on field uh, instruments. So hope you had watched my previous session, wherein we'll focus on what? We focus on installation in control building and installation of main cable weight. So they both we are covered in part one. And now this one is about field instrument. And of course, many more impulse line, sample analyzer piping and heat tracing installation, instrument as supply piping, pneumatic uh, signal piping and tubing and instrument wiring. And of course, the earthing, earthing we already covered here in part one. OK, let's get on with this detail. OK, now as part of this field instrument installation, say first is the location. We need to uh, determine the location. So the instrument shall be located to allow easy access and where applicable to minimize the length of the impulse line. So basically, when we look uh, install this instrument, we should, uh, you know, ensure the easy access and we should also try to uh, install in such a way that to reduce the impulse line, say six meters, right? Yes. So that is about the location. Then now we'll go with the uh, instruments. So first we'll talk about inline instrument and then again uh, next we'll talk about offline. Okay, so this is inline meaning on the line uh, on this equipment. So installation of flow orifice. So this is the look and feel of the orifice, right? Yes. So flow orifice normally be installed in horizontal pipe plan. But if this is challenging, can also be in vertical pipe. Okay. And minimum straight meter a run required for installing orifice shall comply with ISO 5167. Okay. Say, for example, 14 DF of stream and 10 DF downstream. But I suggest to refer this latest. Okay. Right. With the 0.5% of additional uncertainty can be considered. And minimum straight run meter for Venturi tube is also in line with the ISO 517. Okay. But specifically, uh, specifically, we can say. It ranges from 5D to uh, 20D uh, upstream. Uh, okay. Uh, my, my suggestion is refer this ISO 5167. In fact, this is one of the very important question actually in the interviews and all. Okay. So this is about the orifice. Then we'll talk about the vertex. This is the look and feel of the vertex. Vertex meter shall be installed on the horizontal pipe run. Okay. The minimum straight and meter required for each vertex shall comply with vendor recommendation. But alternatively, we can also say actually it ranges from 20D to 40D. And of course, we can reduce this to 10D with the flow conditioning. This is all actually in line with the APA or B551 standard. Okay. So this is about the vertex. Okay. Now we'll focus on the positive displacement meter. So this is the look and feel of a positive displacement meter that shall be installed in a horizontal pipeline. Okay. Uh, bypass line shall be provided at the side or above the instrument, not below. Here, this is the instrument, right? So we can have the bypass line on the side or above, uh, not below. That is the point. Installation of independent foundation or suspended support shall be considered for instruments that are 6 inch and larger. So for the example, uh, you can have a support like this, um, 6 inch and larger, right? So this is about the positive displacement. Then we'll focus on the turbine flow meter. Turbine flow meter shall be installed in the horizontal pipe run. Okay, right. So the required minimum uh, meter run shall be 20 times the inside pipe diameter. So it means 20D and uh, 5D is the downstream. Okay. And when an upstream straightener is provided, of course, the meter run can be reduced so that, you know, you can have maybe some 10D or, uh, yeah, it, of course, based on the vendor recommendation. Hmm? But the point is, if you are using upstream straightener, then we can... Uh, uh, reduce this meter. So that is the point. Few more to add on. Installation of turbine again. Yeah, bypass line shall be provided at the side of or above the instrument, but not the below. Oh, if you want to have a bypass side or above, or not below. That is the point. Then installation of independent foundation are considered for the instrument six inch or larger. Okay, this is about the turbine flow meter. Okay, then Coriolis. Yeah, very interesting. See, Coriolis shall be normally installed in vertical pipe with all with flow direction upwards, like this. But it's not necessary. See, this is the only flow transmitter you can mount in any position. When this is challenging, it can be also installed in a horizontal pipe where, is, where there is no wind pocket. Uh, that one we need to ensure. That's it. Why we are insisting on vertical? To avoid this, actually. Hmm? Okay. So, but the thing is, uh, here, 
this no need of a what upstream downstream requirement huh? this is the only transmitter no need of uh, upstream downstream of course we need to have a you know uh, what do you call the support a proper support uh, for, uh, uh, for mounting okay that's it friends right of course why this is not needed all this i already covered in the design notes uh, you can check uh, why this upstream downstream not required okay right then electromagnetic flow meter this is a look and feel Electromagnetic shall be installed in horizontal pipe where there is no vent packet. The required minimum meter run shall be five times uh, inside pipe diameter for upstream installation. Yeah, 5D. And of course, uh, some of the vendors are offering even without, uh, you know, this upstream and downstream. Okay, you can check also. Now, this is variable area. Of course, we call it as a rotometer. It's a very simple. This is installed in vertical pipe runs. Uh, piping shall be uh, properly arranged so that it does not impose a large stress on the instrument. That's it. Um, right. This is about the variable orifice. Now, we talk about the board on tube, pressure gauges. Okay. This is about the look and feel of the pressure gauge with the siphon. So, connector for PG shall be fitted with the vent plug. Uh, so, this one we should have a vent plug. And for toxic service, vent valve shall be provided. Um, right. And siphon shall be used for steam and high temperature vapor board, board 100 degree and high temperature liquid over 200 degree. Okay, this kind of arrangements. Of course, these all know, you know, but this is just a refresher. And low temperature fluids, minus 50 degree also, we should use this. So this is about the pressure gauge. Okay. And this is about the control valve. Of course, control valve, not much of challenging. So install that accessories or portion at the front side for easy maintenance. And if you are having a hand wheel, then ensure that it is, you know, uh, mounted, uh, you know, horizontally at the front side to ensure the easy operation. Mm -hmm. That's it. Of course, the direction of the valve need to take it there. So this is about the control valve. Okay. Now we talk about offline instruments. Offline means, you know, it's not online. So the instrument will be mounted outside and with the, you know, uh, capillary, right? Instrument tubing. Yeah. So, NPS, uh, 2 inch uh, carbon steel or galvanized iron steel pedestal shall be used uh, to support the instrument, okay, for mounting, okay. So, instrument shall be located so as to minimize the length of the impulse rate uh, wherever applicable. See, for example, we can have only 6 meters. Uh, it's up to you. If it is not possible, of course, up to 10 meters also we are going, but the point is we should try to minimize as much as possible, okay. And if the pedestal is installed at a grade, it shall be fixed to the concrete paving like this with expansion bolts uh, and base plate uh, shall be grouted. If the ground is unpaved, uh, it is not unpaved actually, then a concrete foundation shall be provided for the pedestal. Okay, right. Pedestal installed on platforms or process piping shall be removable and protected against rolling. Okay, if it is on the platforms. So these are the some of the consideration we should focus of the, on, on the offline instruments. Uh. That's it uh, for this session. Uh, we will see in the next session. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, if you want to support, if you think that you want to support B Spice, you can show your support by either by liking, very simple, and if possible, subscribe, and if possible, become a member. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.